बुझे तो पाँच डेमोस्ट्रेशन अफ आइसोलेटेड स्विचेड बुस्ट पुष्पुल डिसी टू डिसी कन्वर्टर फर स्टेप अफ एप्लीकेशन सो हियर मेन एप्लीकेशन अफ दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज वी आर गोइंग टू डूंग द स्टेप अफ बै यूजिंग दिस डिसी टू डिसी द टू आइसोलेटेड विथ हेल्प ऑफ दिस ट्रांसफार्मर्स सो हियर वी आर वोल्टेज मल्टीप्लाई मार यूजिंग द मल्टीप्लेक्सर्स Directed to get the 12 volts DC to 24 volts volt DC, and they are using the isolations also. The main applications of this isolation is if is there any heavy load was detected from this end, or else if is any short circuit happened at this uh, output end, then in order to protect our primary circuits, we are making use of this isolation. So that's only this part, the output part will get made damage whenever the any short circuit or any heavy load was detected here, and we can secure the primary parts. so coming to the primary part so it has a, like this is a main proposed block diagram of our project so there are the three sections mainly like impedance network so here we are using this impedance network circuit here and next uh, switching circuits so in this one this mosfets are using for the switching circuits so impedance and switching circuit will be developed on this one board and the switching circuit will get the 50 hertz of clock frequency from the microcontroller as we need uh, as we need to send the voltage to the transformer so that we need to use the ac signal only so that will be achieved by our pic 16f72 microcontroller which will generate the signals to the gates of this mosfets and from there we are going to get the ac signal that's a from this switching circuits and the output of this switching circuit is given as input to the isolated network nothing but this transformers so only these two this is the another transformer to charge a battery so which is not the uh, directly part of the project so next the output is given to the transformer and from there to the the output will be given as directly to this load as a multimeter so on this multimeter we can see the how much of voltage you are getting from this 12 volt input so now here you are using 12 volt 3 amp battery pack so you can observe that there will be a three battery packs are connected in parallel so each battery pack of 3 4 volt 1 amp batteries are in series so we will get 12 volt 1 amp and this is 12 volt 1 amp and 12 volt 1 amp so these three are in parallel so that we will get the 12 volt 3 amp so that is the input to the microcontroller as operating a voltage purpose and to this switching circuit here okay and dc to dc link circuit here so this microcontroller need 5 volts power supply for that purpose we are making use of a regulator that is 7805 regulator over here so which will taking 12 volts dc input and provide as a 5 volts dc output through this capacitor to the microcontroller so once we provide that 5 volts to this then it will start uh, providing the signals to the mosfet circuit so here right now so this is a battery input this is a battery input and this two are combined in this circuit so that is the impedance network circuit as well as the switching network circuit and from there the switching after the switching network circuit will get the ac signal so that is the input to this transformer isolated transformers and from there to this voltage doubler circuit so here we will converting that ac signal getting from this transformer section to the dc and that will be displayed on the multimeter directly and uh, in order to recharge this battery this we are provided this extra uh, charging circuit and uh, this transformer will take 230 volts ac input and provide as a 12 volts dc sorry 9 volts dc 9 volts ac so this 230 volts to 9 volts ac so we need to provide that 12 volts dc power supply as we know that when we converting the ac signal to the dc then we need to use the rectifier and filter so after the filter we will get root to vrm that is the v, uh, vrms voltage so that is the root to into v in voltage that is the root to into 9 volts so we will get around of 14.5 volts so which is sufficient to charge a battery right so once the battery is fully charged so you can utilize the project so in order to make it fully charged we should on this charging circuit at least half 6 hours minimum 8 hours maximum after that also no need to worry about that these diodes will block the current flow when it is fully charged so that it will become the high potential one as we know that diodes will block the current flow from uh, driver's bias okay so once the time was complete you can switch off the power supply now we can uh, execute that directly from the battery circuit so when we on this then there we can see one light will be getting on and off two times after that it start producing the pulses and that is the input to this one then we are going to converting that to the ac and that is the input to this one and it will uh, act as a 1:1 transformer here so input to this 
and here we will get the 12 volts uh, AC here and output is 24 volts DC. So let us see the demonstration. So keep this in 200 volts. Okay. After uh, execution of the project, don't forget to keep it in off, otherwise the ba multimeter battery will be discharged. So keep this in 200 volts and now switch on the power supply, light on and off. After that we can see the voltage is coming out from this one. So based on the voltage in your battery, you will get the minimum of 24 volts. So as you can see that, this is the 12 volts DC input and that will be getting output to the 29 to 30 volts of DC output directly. So in this manner we are going to design the isolated DC to DC voltage multiplier circuit. So the main application of this project is we can charge uh, electrical vehicles based on the our requirements we can make use of this voltage double circuit to make up to 48 volts or 54 volts so that we can charge uh, electrical vehicles also.